How's it going? So, today what we're going to be watching is a little bit of a practice session between me and uh, my friend Harry. Now, uh, Harry is an excellent tennis player who really uh, attacks the ball quite a bit. He is a former Division I tennis player, um, but he has not been practicing that much, so take that into consideration when you see a few of these points. Um, <clears throat> He really uh, is a tough player to play against just because of how heavy he hits the ball and how fast he hits. So you'll see a lot of these points here. I'm trying to use my slice, uh, try to just neutralize the speed and uh, slow everything down. But he's got this killer backhand where he can just angle it off at any time he wants. Uh, he takes it super early, stands inside the baseline a lot of the time to hit it. Yeah, that was a good approach by me. That was a nice shot. But <clears throat> yeah, he can step inside the baseline and just hit these crazy angles with his backhand. He can take it down the line if he likes, um, but his forehand is his huge weapon where he can go cross court or down the line with it. He rips it as hard as he can almost every time. That's uh, so yeah, one of those forehands that you can't do anything about if he gets hold of it. So my goal really is just to stick with it as much as possible, uh, create a little bit of chaos by mixing up the speeds, throwing in the slice, and um, you know. If I have the ability to take away the, um, if I have the ability to make sure that he can't dictate the point, I'm going to take that away as much as possible. Uh, so you'll see in these baseline points, I do okay. Uh, he ends up winning both, or actually every baseline game that we play. Uh, he's probably a little stronger off the ground, and in general I struggle in baseline games. I like um, when I have a chance to return and serve, but you know I'm working on it slowly and slowly and I'm getting better at it and uh, I know I need to be better from the ground if I'm going to compete at a higher level. Um, but this kind of shows you too like the difference between D2 and D1 is not that big um, especially when you start talking about the D2 schools that are higher ranked. So my last year we finished number three in the country and uh, we were very very good. Now here comes the start of the tiebreaker. But, um, yeah, the, the, the skill difference is, is not that great compared to some of the D1 schools. Um, today my serve was firing like crazy, so it was, it was just nice. Um, but it was kind of a test for my elbow to see if I could hang. So it, it worked today, but um, I'm going to take it easy and make sure I don't damage my elbow. Yeah, good serve. You'll see it's a lot of short points, um, just big serves, big first ball. Um, this court plays very, very fast, so you're just going to see a bunch of that. <coughs> I got, I don't know if I got lucky, I mean I tried to lob him there, but I, I think I got a little lucky, but it was just a good shot. One thing I've been really working on is uh, slowing down uh, on my serve a little, not, <clears throat> not on my serve, but before my serve. So there are times where I sort of just walk up to the line and start bouncing the ball at the same time. Today I really tried to make sure that I was, you know, slowing down balancing purposefully, then serving, taking time on my serve. Um, and this match, or this tiebreaker, really paid off. Um, I was serving a lot of a lot of really good first serves and just a high percentage of first serves. It's one of those longer points and I just get a hold of a backhand. So. Let's see this serve. Yep, serving first ball. That's what a lot of this is here. On a fast court like this, not much you can do. Yeah, it's just bad luck. Yeah, so he did pop a string. Um, that was one return he actually got a hold of. I didn't place that serve all too well, so he could have caused some damage there, but just bad luck for him. And there's me trying to rush a return. I could just return that nice and deep, but I tried to slam it uh, just way too hard. I need to make sure that I relax on some of those returns and just, just get them back sometimes with good depth. Yeah. He's not exactly on here. He uh, you know, he, he does play very good tennis. If we go back and forth on who wins, and um, especially playing sets, it's, it's very much so a, a back and forth. Um, sometimes it can be one-sided. Usually it's not, but sometimes it can be. I think this is my one kick serve I hit. Let's see. Nope, no big serve. Yeah, I decided to serve slice to the forehand and uh, for the second serve, and he almost got a hold of it. I gotta be careful against players like him like that. But yeah, so there's some serve inconsistency every once in a while. But 
Uh, I was watching the pros and I heard a commentator mention a statistic, but there are more return errors. Yeah, gotta be ready for that. More return errors on the forehand side in the second serve than there are to the backhand side. So I started to implement that a little bit more. And it does work pretty well. Another one of those backhands, I'll take it. 10-4, so that's it. Quick tiebreaker. Uh, I thought I played, you know, pretty decently. Huge serve saved me, right? Um, you know, if I if I can serve like that, it's pretty tough to beat me. Um, I know that I don't serve like that all the time, but I'm working on uh, getting better at it. So uh, if you guys like the video, please uh, like, comment, and subscribe. And uh, I, I'm going to reply to all the comments. So uh, if you have any questions, please let me know. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys next time. Take care.